So as we talk about, uh, you know, adopting things in recovery, like you said, the U.S. is starting to um, open back up again, and we're, we're not uh, business as usual, but we're definitely seeing some demand. So I want to kind of talk a little bit about what we're seeing and what we're um, recommending from a hotel recovery, you know, kind of a funnel and a, a thought process. And really, it boils down into four key components, and we'll um, we'll talk through some different elements within this. But really, it's about, you know, building that confidence that, hey, you can travel. And when we're thinking of uh, KPIs and things that hotels should be measuring along this line, that, you know, this is going to help with their visibility, their presence, kind of getting back into uh, market share. And then, you know, building that demand. So obviously, if uh, some of the beach markets out there uh, are doing great with gaining demand. Uh, I know I'm dreaming of a beach vacation, but uh, measurement wise, right? Visits, traffic, you know, are people actually coming to your website? Are they, are they visiting your, um, your content, wherever that is, your social channels, your paid ads and the like. And then of course, everyone's favorite drive conversions, right? How, and of course the, the metric there is, are you, are you making money? Are you driving revenue? Are you getting people to book? And then of course, lastly, building on that trust. How do you convince people that it's safe to travel, that they should trust you and they should come stay with you? So we'll kind of delve in a, a little bit into each of these sections. This will be a little bit more tactical with the questions like, but on the building confidence front, you know, one of the things we talked about was, uh, you know, cleanliness guidelines and that. And of course, HLA put out some great guidelines. I know many of the brands have also come out, uh, you know, Mar I'll, I'll, I'll throw out Marriott and Hilton, but a lot of the brands have come out with various cleaning social guidelines. Um, I know HSMAI is a sales, marketing, and revenue optimization organization. We probably aren't usually thinking cleanliness uh, at the forefront, but would love your thoughts on the HLA guidelines and how hotels can use these to market themselves. Well, I, th I think you, you touched on it already, Tammy, and, and well, I mean, certainly we applaud what HLA did in the hotel brands because that's exa exactly the ammunition that good marketers need to be able to do what you said is step number one, and that's build confidence. Uh, I mean, there's a number of variables in confidence, but this is a big part of it. So the more the hotel industry as a whole can get ahead of that curve in terms of preempting or questioning the whole stay safe components of what a, a, is going to keep a guest from being confident about traveling all the better. So this is, this is good for the whole industry, absolutely. But as marketers, you've got to make sure whether you use that seal, you're communicating it in your marketing, any of your pre-arrival type messaging, people are dreaming. Um, and so confidence is building, it's, but, in, but you've got to be ready to, once they've, they've, they're ready to, to, to buy, you've got to be there in that funnel. Uh, but the confidence is probably, if we saw it bottom out in, in March and April, uh, is slowly building. This is one one great thing for the marketing toolkit to make sure you're, you're leveraging. And a few other things, you know, obviously to your point, that messaging, right? Having information on your website, your homepage. I know there's a lot of talk. We've been working with clients on creating like care pages that talk um, a little less about COVID itself, but a little more about now that we're coming into recovery and what we're doing. And then incorporating things like, uh, you know, FAQs wrapped in schema that, you know, again, thinking from a marketing perspective and a, a SEO perspective. So as people are searching, uh, but to your point, you know, instilling that confidence, you know, there's these great guidelines, you're putting that messaging out there on your website. You mentioned uh, pre-stay, like, you know, yeah, emails, not what other areas or how else do you think that uh, hotels can communicate that they're, you know, that they are safe and clean and kind of build that confidence. Well, I'd say you've got, you've got the key website stuff. Don't forget your social media channels. Don't forget your loyalty program. If, if you've got one as part of a brand, uh, who are your, your key stakeholders or your influencers? Uh, it could be if you're a big group house, who are the intermediaries that you work with a lot? Um, I mean, any of those stakeholders you have that you're typically selling to, this is part of that whole communication strategy that you should be doing right now because the proactive selling in some markets, it may be a little premature for that, but you still need to be communicating with your stakeholders and your customers, um, uh, especially if you want to try and convert more leisure. Think about what are the promotions and stuff you should or could be doing where this needs to be a part of that, that messaging. Well, in the interest of time, I'm going to move on from building confidence. Hopefully, we've built confidence with everyone and move on to 
building demand. How do we get people uh, to come stay with us? And, you know, it's kind of interesting. Uh, one of the things we're really focusing on with clients right now is that uh, client kind of go local, right? Really thinking through. Uh, and it's funny because I've been at Milestone a long time, 13 and a half years. You know, I started when I was 10. Uh, and we've always talked about local activities, attractions, things to do in the market. 